Well, thank you so much for your time. Why don't we start by, you can tell me how you start, got started here at UT and what keeps you here? What do you like about this place? I'm Monica Patel. I'm one of the co-program directors for the Cardiology Fellowship. I'm a native Houstonian. I absolutely love the city of Houston, the people, the culture, the food, every single thing about it, the diversity. And I went, as, I moved as far as uh, UTMB for medical school, but I missed Houston. I've always, Houston holds a very special place in my heart. So I came back for my internal medicine residency here at, at UT Health, and I did my cardiology fellowship here as well. And I stayed on as faculty uh, 11 years after, and I absolutely love it. Wow, so tell us a little bit about what your um, job looks like now, how you spend your days, and what you like about the cardiology division here at UT. Yeah. So for, since I've been, it's time flies, and it's been 18 years since I've been here. And the growth, I think the growth from being an intern, doing my residency, doing the fellowship, becoming faculty, a junior faculty, and then even being promoted, it's been such a growth process. The thing I like about UT Health is it's very family oriented. It has a great work culture and everyone's really here about mentorship and leadership and helping you prom promote you to grow to where you need to be. So I'm half the time I spend in the cardiac pet center reading cardiac pet scans. I am, have been promoted to the assistant director of the pet imaging and training, which I'm super happy about. I started as an associate program director for the cardiology fellowship and for the past three years, I've been co-program director working my way up and still being mentored, learning a lot, growing. I do consults, read echocardiograms, read vascular studies, cardiac PET scans, nuclears, I'm board certified in internal medicine, cardiology, um, echocardiography and nuclear cardiology. I have a special place in my heart for all the training trainees that are here the residents and the fellows i work with the medicine residents on the consult service and they're super impressive they they're hard working they are always bringing new material to rounds they have this great energy leaders and they continue to stay on in our fellowship and then stay on as faculty so that that makes me very proud and I know we're all so grateful for the advocacy and the mentorship that you offer our residents. And also, it's so inspiring to hear about your career and your growth in cardiac imaging. Can you tell me, when you think back to residency, what are some of your favorite memories of that time? Um, do you have any, also, do you have any advice for people who are interested in a similar career path? Yes. So, I have of lots of tons of really good memories from residency. I absolutely love doing my residency here at UT Health. I remember working with Dr. Smalley. I had two CCU residents with him, two CCU um, months with him as a resident. And that, if anyone knows, can be very intimidating and tough. But we had a great time. We were all on our A, a game. All the, the residents were mostly all, all women. Our fellow was a man. And <laughs> he usually got the brunt of brunt of everything. But we we were strong. We knew exactly what he wanted. And we kept up with our CCU patients. Um, as, uh, and we knew every single thing about all of our patients. So that's when I first started getting interested in cardiology. And I also worked with Dr. Fuentes on the consult service twice, and he was the program director for 20 years, and that really, really helped me. A lot of times I thought that it was tough, and I felt I was between cardiology and nephrology, and I didn't think that I could do cardiology. I was, there was a little doubt. I was thinking, maybe it's a little too tough for me. There, was, there weren't that many women in cardiology. And then Dr. Fuentes like, and Dr. Smalling, they both they both like, you can do it. It's okay. You know, we'll get you through it. You can do it. So don't have these, these hesitations. And and from then on, I just, I, I applied and I got in and I, it's the best decision I've ever made in my life. That's amazing, the mentorship and encouragement. Um, well, tell me a little bit then about life outside of the hospital. What do you do in Houston for fun? Or do you have any hobbies or anything that you're willing to share with our applicants? Sure. So I think Houston's a great place to live because it, it, the cost of living is so cheap and there, there are so many amazing restaurants everywhere. Um, and so my favorite thing is hanging out with my friends and my family, hanging out with my, my fur baby Lucky. 
and then traveling. Of course, due to COVID times, we can't travel as much, but you can from from Hobby Airport to Intercontinental Airport, Airport you can get anywhere. So I usually take one international trip a year and then I take several little little trips around the US a year. Of course, that's come come to a halt for the moment, but I love I love doing that. Just spending time with my family. My family lives in Sugarland. One of the reasons why I got into cardiology is my dad had a heart attack at um, in his 40s and he's been hospitalized multiple times. And I know one of the reasons why I've stayed so close to being in Houston is because I want to be around him. And he has he's like a frequent flyer to Herman Hospital and he knows everybody here, but all the cardiologists here and all the staff and the residents and the fellows take such amazing care of him every single time. And he survived to this point, even with having multiple heart attacks, a bypass, heart failure, and he's 78. So it makes me super proud that that the people that we train and our colleagues, you know, we trust them enough to take care of our family. I think that's so meaningful too. I think um, having that experience on both sides as both a patient and a provider makes such a difference also. Well, is there anything else that you want to tell our applicants? Anything I've forgotten to ask that you so think we should know? I tell you just a, a few things about the cardiology fellowship. We have 32 cardiology fellows currently. We're going to 36, which is one of the largest fellowship, cardiology fellowship programs. Um, we get COCATS 2 requirements in CATH, Nuclear, and ECHO for all of our fellows. They, they're very ambitious, so they end up, in, in addition to internal medicine and cardiology boards, they end up taking the ECHO cardiography and nuclear cardiology boards also. We have a lot of women leaders and women in cardiology. The national average of women cardiologists is 14% in our faculty, it's 24%. And in our fellows, it varies. Currently, it's about 16%, but it varies. We, we like to recruit women. And I absolutely love, love every single thing about our fellowship and, and our internal medicine residency program. Well, once again, thank you so much for your time and all of the things you do for our residents. Thank you.